If you don't do it right, then you're better off not doing it at all. And that goes for more than just A-B testing. In audio engineering, an A-B test is a comparison between two signals to see which of the two is better. And this is common practice in the studio, we all do it a few hundred times every day, I think. And to get into this a bit, let's do an A-B test right now with all of you guys. So, which of these two sound files sound better? Make sure you have headphones or good speakers, and I'm going to play back two audio samples and write down which of the two you think sounds better. I will give the answer at the end of this video. Hold on girl, now wait just a minute. I've got something to say, you should hear it all. Hold on girl, now wait just a minute. I've got something to say, you should hear it all. Okay, so let's get in depth about AB comparisons. And the first thing that is very important when doing an AB comparison is level or loudness. You want both examples to be played back at exactly the same level. Only 0.1 decibel of difference can bias the results of an A-B test. And luckily there is a plugin to do this for the most common situations. It's called Perception and Ian Shepard sent it to me. Hi everybody and welcome to a new episode of... S no, this is not snake oil. I'm going to demo you the plugin. Let's just say we are mastering this track and for example I'm using the Pro L limiter and I'm boosting 9 decibels but I'm also going in like 6 decibels. But that's not the subject. What we're doing a lot with mastering is comparing before and after. When we're doing this with the Pro L, so this is after and then we are checking before. And after again. Whoa! Whoa! So we think it sounds so much better, but it actually isn't. It, it's just louder. And for me, it's actually already very difficult to hear the differences because the changes are so big. But you're being fooled by how loud it is. That Iron Shepherd plugin, uh, it's actually meter plugs. I'm sorry, it's meter plugs uh, plugin. So if I turn them both on, you need to insert one before, so so at the start of your chain, so it's it gets the before signal and one after that controls everything. So this is it, a reception controller <laughs> UI mistake, I think. So what it does, let's reset everything. Let's reset the whole smash. If I press play. So right now, you can see over here, it's analyzing loudness units and peak to loudness ratio. The peak to loudness ratio is handy to have just for yourself. So you can compare how much dynamics you are losing. The loudness unit differences is actually the perceived loudness. So, and, and if we are going to compare right now the before and after, we can do bypass FX. So we are also bypassing the whole chain, uh, which now is just one plugin. So right now we can listen to before and after. So A and B. And now the differences aren't as big anymore as they were. So that's interesting. And that's also how, how loud sounds are fooling our brains. And that being said, back to the other side of the studio. And the second thing is listener's bias. If you want something to sound better, it mostly will sound better. That's how our brains work. And this is something which is a bit harder to avoid. There's a cool app for the Mac and maybe there's also for Windows one that helps us avoid this situation. It is called ABX, sir. I will link it below. And it lets you do a blind comparison between two audio files. And it also gives you uh, the option to choose which of the two you think it is. And at the end it will give you the results so you know which one is really sounding better. So I hope you've written down your choice for the AB test in the beginning of this video. Because right now I'm revealing which of the two files sounded better. So both A and B were exactly the same samples. The only difference is that I made a slight adjustment in how loud I played them back and I displayed a green A and a red B. And because of that, I'm guessing that you've chose A as the best sounding sample. If you did, 
Let me know in the comments because I really want to know if this test works. So that being said, I want to end this video over here. You know, other YouTubers are able to make a video of 20 minutes about this subject, but it's too simple to do that. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was quick enough. If it was, let me know in the comments below, give me a thumbs up, support me on Patreon and check my other videos. For now, bye bye.